Who is the best quarterback on the 49ers right now? Honestly, when you, you're at camp, what are you seeing? Is it Brock Purdy? Is it Trey Lance? Is it Sam Darnold? Is it Brandon Allen? Who is the best quarterback on the field every day? It's a really good question. It has nothing to do with last year or what Trey Lance did in the past or what Brock Purdy did in the past. Purdy's coming off an injury. Lance is coming off an injury. He's totally reworked his mechanics. These are different guys. Who is the best quarterback on the team right now? And the answer is it doesn't matter who the best quarterback on the team is right now. It doesn't matter if Brock Purdy is a little bit better than Trey Lance or Trey Lance is a little bit better than Brock Purdy because neither one is good enough to win the Super Bowl this year. Neither one. Brock Purdy, he has so much poise and leadership and confidence and maturity and his aura is impeccable. Every single intangible you can mention is great with Brock Purdy. It's just that the tangible stuff with him is extremely underwhelming. Extremely. As a thrower, he's more limited than Jimmy Garoppolo. All the things we didn't like about Jimmy Garoppolo, that's Brock Purdy plus. And he's coming off an injury. And he's 23. And he's inexperienced. And defenses are just starting to get a book on him. And the right side of the line isn't that good. And he's gotten hurt twice in eight games. And he's going to be under duress a whole lot. And he's pro- and if he starts week one, he's probably not going to be starting week 17 because these are the 49ers. I don't mean to rant. I'm trying to keep myself calm. But it ain't Brock. Kyle can call him the real deal. He ain't. Not yet. Trey Lance making strides. Quickened up that release. More accurate. Better at throwing the short stuff. He's not ready either. Four career starts. Doesn't seem happy. Doesn't seem confident. Promising player who has his own struggles. Today he was really good. With seven throws. Playing with the second and third stringers. I mean, he's really had no time with the starters this year. So if all of a sudden you wanted to throw him out there, maybe he'd be like Brock last year, or maybe he'd have no chemistry with the players out there and he'd struggle. He's not getting prepared to start. He's getting prepared to get buried. And then there's Sam Darnold, who threw an interception today and I is not good. Like he's he should be the he sh, he's definitely the worst quarterback on the team. I don't know if Brandon Allen counts, but let's take Brandon Allen aside. Darnold is definitely the worst quarterback on the team. He's not good. Lance has improved, but it's just practice, and we've seen Brock Purdy win games, but none of these guys are winning the Super Bowl this year. I feel pretty confident in saying that. It's August eighth. 2023 and I'm saying that none of these quarterbacks are going to win the Super Bowl this season I'm saying it with my chest and I'd be happy to be wrong but that's the impression I get every day when I walk off that practice field man this is a hell of a team great team with a really super duper mediocre quarterback room that they can prop up because they have coaching and defense and weapons and stuff and and media people that just want to praise everything the 49ers do. But honestly, honestly, if the question is who's the best quarterback on the 49ers, the answer is none of the above. And I think we got to stop comparing Niners quarterbacks to each other. Anytime you criticize Brock Purdy, people say, yeah, but he's better than Trey Lance. Who freaking cares? What does that prove? Oh, well, that means the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl this year. Oh, he's better than Jimmy Garoppolo. What, the, what does that prove? Jimmy Garoppolo is having a meltdown right now with the Raiders. Can't wait to see that. 
The best quarterback on the 49ers is the quarterback they haven't acquired yet. The guy they're going to get next year when these guys don't work out. That's the best quarterback on the 49ers. And then, and then the, next, the best quarterback on the 49ers after that will be the next guy they get. Because Kyle Shanahan can just keep playing this game forever, and, the nine, and then the Yorks are just going to smile because they hired him, and they think they look like genius for, geniuses for having him. They are making money. The best quarterback on the 49ers is Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel. Juan Torres is the best quarterback on the 49ers. If Purdy were to get injured, Trey would play and shine. I don't know that he would play and shine. This is Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers. I have no idea about that. He might get hurt again. Claudio says, with that shaky right side of the line, all these quarterbacks getting a shot during the season, quarterback talk needs to chill. Purdy's elbow not holding up. Eesh. D. Wood, 7,300, says, oh, he's improving in camp. Trey needs to take the job. From what you're reporting, he's improving, but he has to have uh, F this attitude and ball out. He, he does. Poppy Chulo. What's up, Poppy Chulo? Says, that's football. Shanahan's famous last words. Please remind him that on his way out the door. Hey, that's football, baby. <laughs> Nathan Flores says, that's why I ain't getting Brock jersey. Could be a different quarterback in 2024 entirely. Yeah, wait on that jersey. Rob Schneider says, Grant, you and Dave Lombardi and a couple other Niner journalists are always off with your own views on how the day went. Someone's feelings are in the way. Well, we also show our work. You can watch us. You can watch him me all decide who you uh, agree with we do our best to explain what we're seeing it'd be nice if there were official stats but there aren't rob schneider chris telerico says kyle won't win a super bowl as a head coach period it's funny how kyle thinks brock's the real deal when his play physical limitations are everything you need to play the position when his physical limitations are everything you need to play to play the position yeah i, I think kyle likes the idea of winning a super bowl with the most physically limited quarterback in the nfl i think he think that's cool like he is turning the difficulty on madden up to expert or something i haven't played madden in 20 years 